Hello everyone. Hope you are doing good. In today's video, we are going to cover two important topics. The first one is factors influencing agricultural activities and the second one is farm system. So let us start our today's class. But before that, I would like you to know that more than half of the world's population is directly or indirectly involved in agricultural activities. Thus, it becomes very important for us to know what influences the development of agricultural activities. Am I right? The development of agricultural activities depends on various natural and man-made factors. Let us discuss these factors in detail. Natural factors Natural factors include relief, soil, water and climate. Relief plays a significant role in agricultural activities. We all know flat and low lands are more suitable for agriculture as compared to high land. This is because in the hilly areas soil is less fertile and the problem of soil erosion is high. Whereas flat land with a thick layer of fertile soil is more suitable for the growth of a variety of crops. Similarly, the availability of water is also essential for the growth of plants. Last but not the least is climate which exerts the greatest control over the arable land of the world. What does the arable land mean? Arable land means the land on which crops are grown. It has been observed that suitable climatic conditions such as adequate temperature and rainfall help in the growth of crops. Let us have a look at the world map. Here you can see that agricultural growths are concentrated in those areas of the world where suitable factors for the growth of crops exist. Now let us know about man-made factors. They are machines, fertilizers, labor, market and transport. All these play a vital role in the development of agricultural production. I hope this is clear to you. Now let us know about farm system. Farm system is simply the way a farmer makes use of resources available for agriculture. It includes inputs, processes and outputs. Inputs mean all the things that are required to do agriculture. For example, seeds, fertilizers, pesticides, machinery, labor, sunshine, rainfall, adequate temperature, soil, etc. These are called farm inputs. These inputs can be classified into human and physical farm inputs. Storage, labor, machinery and chemicals are procured by human beings, thus called human inputs. Whereas sunshine, rainfall, temperature, soil and slopes are provided by nature and are called physical inputs. All these are essential to perform the agricultural activity. Now the next step is to use these inputs in order to get output that is called processes. In other words, you can say processes are the actions within the farm that allow the inputs to turn into outputs. It includes sowing seeds, spraying pesticides, irrigating field, weeding and harvesting. Then finally we get outputs in the form of agricultural products such as crops, wool, dairy, 
and poultry products. I hope this much is clear to you. In the next video, we will continue with types of farming. Do subscribe to my channel and get notifications about upcoming videos. Thank you everyone.